this video I'm going to be showing you how to build a PC so let's just jump into it now I'll say this quickly I did film this a while ago so some of the parts are a bit old not really old but it's not the newest video and my dad was filming so I didn't have complete control of the camera enjoy first you want to grab your motherboard out of its anti-static packaging and place it on your motherboard box this is the safest place for you to build on your motherboard Next, install your CPU by aligning the golden triangle of your CPU with the triangle or marking on your motherboard. This applies to both AMD and Intel, and here's a photo to show you. Gently align your CPU into place and just let it drop into place. Next, bring down the arm, bring it out, then in. For RAM, we went with two 8GB sticks of G-Skill Ripjaws memory. First, push down the tabs on the RAM slots. They might be on both sides, but for our motherboard, they're on one side. Then simply align the gap on the stick with the gap on the motherboard. Push down evenly and you'll hear a click like this one. Do that for both of your sticks. Next you want to locate your M.2 slot on your motherboard. For us, it's under an M.2 cover. So to remove it, simply undo both screws and it should come right off. I say, should come right off. For storage, we went with a crucial 500 gig P2 drive. This drive should be plenty fast enough for any games or work use. Insert it into its slot at an angle and push down. Pop the cover back on and screw it in on both sides. Next is the CPU cooler. Now this will vary depending on what you intend to use, but we're just using the Intel stock cooler, which is really easy to mount. Just align the posts on the cooler with the holes on the motherboard and push them in. Do so in a cross pattern going corner to corner to even out the mounting pressure. Then just plug in the CPU fan cable into the CPU fan header on the motherboard. Next, mount your motherboard in your case. Lie the case down so it's flat on your surface and look at where the standoff holes are on your motherboard. Make sure that there are only standoffs in positions where the holes align or you could short your motherboard. In our case, there were four pre-installed. Screw your screws provided by your case manufacturer through the holes into the standoffs and you should get something like this. As you can see, the motherboard is now in the case and being held up by the standoffs. Next is the power supply. Check your case and if there is a bracket that needs to be removed, then remove it first. Next, slide your power supply into its case and screw it in. Make sure that it's oriented with its fan on the bottom of the case so that it draws fresh air. Screw it in at the four points and you should be good to go. Now I won't go through the cables in this video as there are plenty online, but I might do a follow up video on that if you need them. So if you enjoyed that video, be sure to like and subscribe because it really helps out the channel and let me know what you thought and how I can improve. As always, I'm TechBiz and I'm out.